All right, so we're here in the Bosnian Valley of the Pyramids, February 23rd, 2015. The months uh, and years are flying by. We gotta get a hold of who we are, the, the, the human race. And to do that, we need to find out the details, as many as we can, about our past. Here we are uh, looking at the Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon. Let's get a closer look at it. And this is the second tallest documented pyramid in the world. <clears throat> and you can see those interesting flanks, or the, the interesting front left flank right there. Uh, and then behind it is another ridge, and then another ridge. Very interesting, sort of like buttressing of a, of a fortress or something. <clears throat> and of course, if you want your pyramids to last, and we believe the ancients did, the way they built them, and uh, we believe they did because they have been here an estimated 34,000 years here in the Visoko Valley. Uh, this is uh, just south of the town of Visoko. Uh, the town is there. And the city limits are just about there on that road. So this is just south towards Sarajevo of Visoko. And... Uh, it's rather a, uh, a center for travel through the ages. Uh, people would come here, trade. There was, uh, for century upon century, this is the uh, Pyramid of the Sun here. Uh, it doesn't quite look like a pyramid from this angle, but uh, you know it is the Pyramid of the Sun because it's across from the Pyramid of the Moon. Uh, going rather northwest, and they've the government has planted these tree these evergreens on it. Uh, so that's how you distinguish it from other pyramids. It's the first tallest or the tallest documented pyramid in the world, and it's right across the valley from Pyramid of the Moon. We're standing right now on the Pyramid of Love, and it's a very, very, very large structure, but it's not as large as the Pyramid of the Sun, which uh, towers over it. Uh, the two pyramids here are knitted together by a clay and concrete staircase and uh, There's a Vimeo video that talks about that. Um, this uh, has been said by the discoverer of the Bosnian pyramids Dr. Semir Osmanagic to be the hill where the ancients took the clay And you can see the there's still clay there. He says that they took it from that hill to build the pyramids um, All the pyramids are primarily made of clay from what we have been able to ascertain in the 10 years since Dr. Osmanagic discovered the pyramids in April 2005. So this pyramid, for instance, is made of alternating clay and artificial stone layers. Beautiful terraces of artificial stone, artificially laid. Um, the, the Pyramid of the Sun over here is made primarily of clay and concrete and the the entire pyramid seems to be, or the vast majority from, from what excavations have told us so far, seems to be covered with several layers of the hardest documented concrete ever tested, ancient or modern. Um, so in previous videos I've, I've mentioned that the, the hardness meter or the hardness rating for concrete is measured in megapascals. And I've always said, go research megapascals if you want to know about concrete hardness. <clears throat> and I thought, well, if I'm telling the audience to do that, maybe I should do that. Um, so I did that, <clears throat> and megapascals seem to be uh, based on atmospheres. Uh, and so uh, one atmosphere, a unit of measurement, uh, which they determined by getting a mean value of the atmospheres that they measured uh, across the Earth. Um, the, and the mean value is just the, the average of all those different uh, readings of atmospheres. In other words, the amount of pressure at sea level. So they just took an average, a, a mean uh, value of that, and they said, well, that's Paris, France. That's a, just about where Paris, France is. And uh, so an atmosphere's pressure at per in Paris, France, um, if you, so you're feeling that, that pressure of that atmosphere on your body, or the plant is feeling that, or the stone is having that amount of pressure on it, or the concrete. And then if you multiply that by approximately 10, that's a megapascal. 
So that's one megapascal is, is 10 atmospheres or 10 uh, units of atmospheric pressure. <clears throat> uh, so um, it's actually 9.869-23267. They couldn't make it 10 for some reason. Yeah, 9.869-23267 <laughs> um, <clears throat> atmospheres is one megapascal. So the hardness of modern day concrete is 20 to 60 megapascals. So you say, well, that's 20 to 60 times about 10. That's 200 to 600 atmospheres of pressure. Okay. The ancients concrete, that was modern concrete. The ancients concrete on this pyramid, the, the Bosnian pyramid of the sun <clears throat> right here is up to 133 megapascals. So at their best, and it's so hard, it's, it's far harder than granite. And there is footage of, uh, that I have of uh, a mechanical digger, those huge machines with this uh, thing that goes go, 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 like a jackhammer, but a huge you know, uh, blade trying to get into this concrete on the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. You can't get in it. It can get through granite, but not through this. So this is much harder than granite. Um, 133 megapascals, that's the hardest rating. Um, I can't remember what the softest or the, the lower rating of the concrete in the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun is. Um, near to the surface of the concrete, it's, it's got, has had water absorption over the 34, estimated 34,000 years it's been there. So there's, it's a little softer at the top. And as you go down, it gets harder and harder as you, as you dig down. So the mechanical digger was able to get through a little bit of it and then it just couldn't get through. So they said, well, we have to get a bigger digger because the, the bigger, the, the biggest digger in Bosnia was not big enough to get through the last bit of concrete. Um, so we're trying other means and we're doing other things. Um, Besides that, mostly digging in Ravne Tunnel right now. And there are a lot of government restrictions on the digging on the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. So it's complicated. The government regulations are complicated. But we're, we're doing our best here. The Foundation, Archaeological Park Foundation, is doing its best. So uh, 133 megapascals, the, the best that the, uh, the ancients did as far as hardness. And that's the test, tested concrete so far. Um, if we test concrete, uh, below the level where we, we've been able to dig is probably much harder than that, but 133 megapascals is uh, the rating and that is if we break it down to atmospheres <clears throat> um, 10 times 10 times 133 is 1330 atmospheres so 1330 atmospheres of pressure to to break um, the best sample of concrete we've, we've got from the uh, Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Wow, um, and that's over twice as good as the 60 megapascals that modern day concrete gets up to. Um, so if they're, if they're building a bridge, I don't, I don't know the number, but that's the, that's the code for the minimum for, for building a bridge for hardness for concrete. Uh, but if they're doing that in modern day, maybe it's 40 or who knows, up to 60, but it might be 40, it might be 30. Meanwhile, the, the, the ancients have 133. So you can imagine how smart they were and how competent and how interested they were in having these pyramids stay here. Um, it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I'll insert some photos of the concrete so you can, and you can see how dense it is, how incredibly dense it is. And they didn't just put one layer on this pyramid, they put several layers. Once they built the pyramid, they put several layers, separate layers of concrete on it, crisscrossing. Unbelievable. Um, so I just wanted to make a little video here as the sun descends uh, behind us because I was taking some photos of the pyramid of the moon and it's, uh, I just wanted to get some nice uh, tripod photos. So. Uh, from above to give people a sense of how big that thing is and that's that's not even as big as the pyramid of of the sun and then there's the pyramid of love right here uh that we're standing on um as you can see people have built uh houses uh, uh cemeteries and all sorts of things uh on the side of the pyramid of love here and also on the side of pyramid of the sun and, and here's the pyramid of the moon so they're they're basically doing their best to farm and uh, live on the side of, of this pyramid, but as it gets steeper and steeper as it goes up, it's more and more difficult to do anything like that. So uh, people just live rather near the, the valley area.
to the right of the Pyramid of the Moon is the Temple of Mother Earth. You can't see it too well. Let me just zoom in on its uh, eastern edge. Um, it goes far, far, far over this way. It's concave. It's a beautiful structure, uh, never before seen on the planet. A uh, crescent-shaped um, structure, and I'll insert some photos. So, uh, I just want to let you know what's happening. Um, this is Jock Doubleday reporting from the ancient uh, Valley of the Pyramids uh, here in Visoka, Bosnia. Um, have a scientific day.